Hi, we're here at GSI and now going to describe ASTM D1505 density column and also D792 specific gravity for determining the density of uh, polyolefin materials. There are two different test methods. The first of the methods is a uh, density column. It's shown to me here in the back and what we do is we take a mixture of alcohol and water, which is a prepared solution, and introduce it into this central column. The central column has a gradation associated with it, and what we do is we float reference balls of known density with inside that column. We subsequently will take pieces of GM membrane, throw them into the column, and where they reside in the column, with respect to the balls, we can calculate the density. This is density uh, column ASTM 1505. Typically what we do, however, is run a specific gravity test. And that specific gravity test is run off of a uh, analytic balance, which, he which is here. This happens to be a Mettler uh, balance, analytic balance, and it has the specific gravity kit associated with it. That kit is a hanger. We use alcohol, propanol in this case, which we know the, uh, the density of the fluid. So uh, it happens to be uh, 0.78. So these materials will sink in alcohol. You set this up at a known temperature. You will control the temperature with a thermometer. It has to be uh, 23 plus or minus 2 degrees C. You set that up with inside the analytic balance. And this is the hanger which is associated with it. You hang that off the top. This is close up now of the analytic uh, balance work. First item what we need to do is uh, do the verification that the uh, balance is uh, acting properly. It's a uh, mass of uh, 20 grams and we're right on it as far as uh, the verification of the piece of equipment. With the two specimens the uh, first item that you need to do is uh, get the mass of the specimen dry and you do that by placing it in the top carriage uh, you wait five seconds for the uh, balance to equilibrate and then subsequently uh, take the reading in grams. The next item which you do is uh, take the specimen off and then immerse it in the alcohol in, on the hanger. You try to centralize it, uh, wait five seconds and then subsequently uh, record the mass. Using the equations that we show subsequently, you can calculate the density of this material, these olefin plastics, which are lighter than, uh, than water. They would float. You'd have to use a sinker if you would uh, use water. We prefer the alcohol method uh, to it. This is ASTM D792, and it complements the density column ASTM D1505. You can use either one in GM13, and these are the methods for density of olefins, comparing them with uh, the uh, specifications. You run two samples for the specific gravity, and you typically drop three specimens for uh, the uh, density column. Thank you.